So my research aims to create a new reality by hacking our brain uh, with augmented reality approach. For example, this system can present the desired flavors by changing the appearance and uh, smell of a food uh, with augmented reality. Uh, in this system, the user wears a, a hand-mounted uh, visual and olfactory display. Um, the system detects the cookie and calculates the position, occlusion, and division like this uh, in real time. Uh, based on these calculated states, uh, image of a flavored cookie is overlaid onto the real cookie, and moreover, the olfactory display simulates the scent of flavored cookie. So our brain perceives the taste of chocolate cookie uh, from a butter cookie with an uh, image and smell of chocolate cookie. And you can feel uh, another type of cookie. And next one uh, modifies perception of crudeness and controlling nutritional intake by changing the apparent size of food. Uh, this system scares food uh, while ensuring users uh, perceive they were really holding the food. Uh, using real-time shape deformation techniques. Uh, this visual feedback affects our perception of satiety and how much we uh, eat. So then we can control food consumption by modifying the size appropriately. So uh, as a professional researcher, uh, not only we made a funny system, uh, but also, of course, uh, we have an experiment to confirm the effect. So he's uh, one of two uh, subjects. Uh, Look uh, how much he eat. Uh, under strong condition, uh, he ate uh, 30 cookies. And uh, this is a normal size condition. Uh, he ate uh, 11 cookies. And uh, this is uh, enlarged condition. Wow, well, uh, he ate only 7 cookies. So our experiment showed people eat about 10% uh, less with the enlarged appearance. So this system helps you to lose weight without your effort. Uh, our sensory modality is uh, traditionally regarded as uh, independent, uh, but uh, we normally believe our visual system deals with the information from the eye. Uh, then, uh, to generate a virtual experience, uh, interfaces normally simulate uh, real physics. Uh, for letting us feel virtual phenomena. So this approach duplicates much sensory information as same as a real phenomena evoked to generate a realistic feeling. Uh, on the other hand, our reality evokes in our brain, so not side of our body. So we have to consider uh, what is reality in our brain. So recent cognitive science revealed uh, our perception through one sense can be interfered by other sense uh, received simultaneously uh, through other sense. So this kind of illusionary phenomena is called as cross-modal effect. Uh, this suggests uh, it's possible to change our experience dynamically by changing the combination of feedback, uh, like uh, these examples. So uh, then we aim to establish a method for utilizing this kind of illusion uh, in our, uh, in our brain. So let's go back to uh, examples. Uh, this is cross-modal shape display system with a simple physical device. This system can give users a sense uh, as if uh, we are touching a variety of shapes, even though they are touching only a simple cylinder uh, with uh, visual and uh, haptic interaction. So the left one in the movie is actually users are touching uh, behind the monitor, and the right one, a uh, concave uh, curved shape, is uh, they watching in the monitor. Uh, the movement of the fingertip is distorted uh, as if uh, they were touching a uh, visual shape. Then, although users only touch a simple cylinder, uh, they can feel uh, their hands touch like a convex or a concave shape. And uh, not only the curvature, this type of visual alteration can be uh, used to uh, alter uh, perceived uh, angle of edges or rotation uh, positions of the edges on the sub flat surface. So, this kind of haptic uh, illusions uh, also can be 
used for evoking haptic sensations, uh, such as softness on pushing and freaking friction on sliding fingers on objects on a mobile device uh, without the use of any actuators. Uh, this system uses a mobile real touch interface uh, with the, uh, used in PlayStation Vita uh, and makes an inconsistent situation between the physical behavior of our finger and the observed behavior which is displaced as a shadow of our, uh, shadow of our hand. And this uh, inconsistent situation makes up an illusion of perception in our haptic sensation. We can feel a more softer or a more hard. So this is another example of uh, use of haptic illusion. Uh, this system alleviates a fatigue during handling a uh, medium weight object by affecting our weight perception with augmented reality. So our system changes the visual property, only changing the uh, visual property of the handling object. In this time, the brightness value in order to uh, control the weight position. So you may uh, see the uh, white one, uh, white looks. Uh, so this visual feedback affects our output of our master power to handling objects. <laughs> then we can reduce uh, excess energy and control our engine. So we also have an experiment, <laughs> but uh, maybe it's uh, too long, so I will skip and uh, show, the show only the results. The number of repeat repetition uh, under black condition increases about 18% compared to that of uh, under white condition. Uh, this is, uh, uh, we only change the color, but uh, the worker uh, work more harder. So human uh, perception and recognition to the world are uh, based on sensory input. So not only low level sensation, uh, but also high level cognitive function can be affected. So in particular, this system influences our emotional state uh, by reflecting our facial expression as a slightly different one in real time, uh, like a mirror system. Uh, then this modified spatial expression affects our emotion. Uh, for example, smiling enhances present feeling and uh, sad face uh, increase uh, unpleasant feelings. So our user study revealed uh, this system can manipulate not only the emotion uh, but also preference, decision, and creativity. For example, the number of ideas passed in uh, this kind of uh, remote uh, brainstorming session was significantly increased uh, when uh, their face uh, smile, uh, their, their face seems to be smile. Uh, the slightly change of our body expression affects uh, our intellectual processing uh, power, actually. So this research is also to affect uh, recognition by letting us feel uh, change in our physiological reaction. So recent uh, physiological study revealed uh, when we feel uh, this is delicious food, our uh, temperature in nasal skin become uh, higher. So this system presents some sensations to the nasal skin during eating and change our flavor perception. Uh, this, uh, our experiment uh, suggested with uh, suggested this system uh, make richer flavors, stronger aftertaste, and more comfortable uh, without changing the food itself. So uh, you can take uh, more sweet uh, drinks uh, with when you are dieting. So we don't have an organ to uh, measure precise time and have a cognitive bias that causes uh, error in accurately uh, Predicting the pre predicting future, so we aim to realize a system for improving our time perception. So this is uh, one example: uh, task management task management system. Uh, this pre uh, predicts users' future state on the basis of the user's life log and plans, and then uh, to a user uh, and show show the uh, prediction to user in a like, uh, like diary. 
by using this, users can understand their future and change their behavior uh, based on the pre prediction. Uh, this is a sort of uh, car navigation system in time domain. This is another example. Uh, this system predicts the user's future consumption uh, based on the personal life load of receipts and show uh, it in a weather forecast style. So sometimes the uh, system gives a high consuming alarm. Uh, this visualization helps us to understand the time, position, and possibility of our future consumption. So these applications are available on iPhone applications, so please download via App Store. Uh, in addition, uh, social interactions uh, sometimes affect our uh, <coughs> cognition and behavior. For example, the satisf satisfaction of a user with a meal increase uh, with others' uh, positive evaluation, like uh, feedback on the Facebook. Uh, so we focus on utilize uh, this effect to change our eating behavior. Uh, this social media system leads people to eat more healthful meals without conscious effort. Users share information on their uh, meals and evaluate the yumminess and uh, healthfulness of each other's meal. Uh, this system modifies others' evaluations, displaying uh, evaluations of healthfulness and yumminess, uh, healthfulness as those of yumminess uh, to the user consuming the meal. Uh, thus, a user tends to eat more foods uh, that are evaluated as healthful foods and uh, improve their eating habits without noticing. So finally, we may introduce uh, someone's personality on the web by utilizing the power of illusion. So when we interact with uh, artificial intelligence uh, via a limited channel, uh, we sometimes regard it as human. So this is the illusion of intelligence. Uh, now I'm trying to make a virtual character who treats sentences randomly selected from the LifeLog database of spoken words by my boss. <laughs> More than 2,500 words are registered uh, in the database. So uh, if the database is not huge, uh, observers cannot distinguish it as a bot. So in that case, uh, we may feel uh, he lives forever, as long as Twitter persists. So a lot of people, including famous MIT professor Hiroshi Ishii, uh, believe this virtual character as a human. <laughs> it may be an ultimate virtual reality. So this is the end of my talk. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Aki-san.